So now what I'm doing is I'm giving you a full circuit of dual slope integrating type ADC. Here I've written dual slope integrating type ADC circuit. So whatever we have studied till now regarding dual slope integration, now I'm combining everything. So here this is your integrator and this is your counter, up counter. This is a comparator. Mind you, negative terminal is connected to V0 and positive terminal is connected to ground. It is not other way around. Usually what we have seen in comparator plus was above and minus was below, right? Connected to ground. So be careful with this. It is happening here only. So this is your comparator and end gate through end gate clock is given to the up counter and up counter is giving the output B0 to B N minus one. Since it is starting from zero, that's why N minus one and bit outputs are there, right? It is also giving the signal to, to the, when it is reaching, when it is restarting again. So it will restart when you will have two to the power and T clock. Okay. That after that much time, the counter will restart again. Means if it is starting from zero, 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 let's say, so it will come back to zero, 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 zero again after two to the power and clock cycles. Okay. So that signal it is taking control circuit will decide when it will see that uh, the counter is resetted again. So it will switch this. Okay, the S will be connected to now uh, uh, other guy. Okay, so that's how it is uh, working. So I'll, I'll tell you the full detail. So imagine what we, we have seen till now and be with me. So initially your capacitor will be uncharged, right? You will connect uh, uh, it to VA input voltage. It will start charging. Capacitor will start charging linear charging. We have seen that and uh, it is a positive voltage VA divided by RC small t, right? But V not we are interested in, we are not interested in capacitor um, output. So VA is just minus of that, right? So minus VA divided by RC small t, right? That is the voltage we have calculated before as well. So what will happen? So it is dependent upon time, but uh, you can see this is a negative voltage and it is a positive voltage zero is positive voltage right for for this uh, compared to this here you are having what minus va divided by rc t and here you are having zero since positive terminal is having greater voltage hence the output will be high right and uh, so i can write it so this va is minus va divided by rc small t right so time will be positive and these guys are uh, you can see positive so uh, because of negative sign, this is in negative uh, position, some negative values there. This is zero volt. It is connected to zero volt ground. So this guy is automatically high, right? That's how I'm telling. So if the, this is, if the, that's the case, then output will be high and the clock will be feeded to up counter and counter will start up counting, right? So it will start, uh, it will keep on up counting, up counting, up counting, and the capacitor will get charged to minus VA divided by RCT. Uh, let's say at time T1, when it will reach, when this guy will reset again, that is two to the power and T clock, that is I'm calling at T1, T1 time. We have seen this graph, right? T1 time, imagine that. So uh, T1 time it will reach, and what will happen? Counter will reset. If it will reset, the control circuit will see that signal and it will switch it to minus VR input voltage to minus VR. Okay. That's what will happen at time T1. Okay. Imagine that curve, what we have done. This is how the curve looked like, right? So at T1, what is happening? You are switching to minus VR input voltage to minus VR. Now you can see if it will be connected to minus VR, what will happen? Capacitor will discharge. Right. So now the uh, output voltage will go on the positive side. Right. But still it is less than zero. Right. So the uh, in, 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 in this this output of comparator will be high only. So it will keep on counting up. It started again zero 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 and it is keeping on counting up. OK. It is up counting. Still it is up counting, up counting, up counting until it reaches until it reaches this zero point okay because at that point what will happen this v naught i'm talking about zero point if it goes beyond v naught uh, beyond zero means positive voltage this output will be low right this output will be low this becomes positive this becomes zero so output will be low so it will go till here 
and uh, it will see whatever the counter value is you can take it okay as soon as it it will go up then this your output of v0 will be a uh, comparator will be low clock will not be feeded and you can take the output right so that's how the circuit is working so first it is charging then it is discharging when it will stay here when it will come here your your conversion will be complete at t2 let's say so this curve we have already seen okay so hopefully it is making sense to you when it will uh, it will reach the the final uh, t2 time your, your output whatever the counter value will be that will be the analog uh, digital equivalent of your analog input va okay so that is how it is working and when you have to start again then uh, you can give the signal right uh, from to to control circuit a start of conversion and you can take the end of conversion bar like this so you you can do it by controls circuits so that is not a main thing uh, i wanted to explain you how the circuit is working so you see same integrator concept is uh, there and i have uh, combined this uh, two to the power n clock that is resetting of uh, up counter with the comparator now i'll show you that diagram again uh, the triangle inverted triangle type and we will see some uh, uh, extract uh, some few parameters which will be helpful for you okay okay so uh, now i'm going to explain the same thing with the help of this curve the, which you have already seen so what will happen in initially your capacitor is um, uncharged right so at uh, t is equal to zero what you are doing you are connecting your input voltage to va so as soon as you will connect it to va it will start charging capacitor will start charging means your uh, v naught will be in negative direction this is charging 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 with the slope of minus va divided by rc and at t1 time let's say t1 time it reaches the maximum counter reaches the maximum value and starts again the time it takes is 2 to the power nt clock you can see here at this point the value of your output is minus va t1 divided by rc and your counter value is 0, 0, 0, 0 or whatever how many bits are there okay so counter is reset at this point okay that is called integration time this is integration time it is integrating okay and when it will start again what will happen since your uh, output voltage is less than zero uh, your uh, comparator will still give high output right so it keeps on counting uh, counter will start again and counting start counting up counting and your uh, what will happen here your output voltage will start increasing why because at this point your switch is connected to minus vr so switch changed right uh, because of control circuit now it is connected to minus vr so your output voltage start rising with the slope of vr divided by rc it does uh, it uh, it is increasing 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 uh, at the same time your counter is up counting up counting up counting and it will stop at this point t2 okay t2 is where your output voltage is zero this is zero volt line okay zero line so it it is fixed always it will work like this so this this thing is fixed this thing is depending upon the the output uh, the input voltage okay so it is going up 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 and it is stopping here why why it is stopping here because if it will go beyond this your comparator will give a low output and um, uh, com uh, counter will stop counting and whatever the output of counter is uh, will be your binary output okay or equivalent uh, binary of your analog input right so this is called deintegration time so you can see here i have not marked at that time because there is it is not fixed okay depends upon input voltage you can see here t2 minus t1 was deintegration time is equal to va divided by vr into t1 integration time right so you can see it is depending upon va so that's why you don't have a fixed value here but here it is fixed integration time is fixed uh, because it depends upon the counter right F maximum value it will reach and start again at 2 to the power and t clock so this 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 de integration time is fixed does not depend upon input uh, but the slope depends upon input okay the slope will be different here de integration time depends upon the 
input right here you can see but the slope is fixed because it is connected to vr right so this these are important things i hope it is making sense to you it is a v not t versus t curve of a uh, dual slope integrating type adc and uh, this is the maximum value here it will be zero and this is not fixed uh, you have to calculate via this expression and whatever the value of output uh, whatever the value of the counter will be that is your output here okay so total conversion time is this this 0 to t2 that's that's when the process will start and here the process will end okay and you are getting the output of uh, through counter okay so this is uh, the working uh, there is one more thing i want to show you if you have different inputs what will be the change so that you will be able to have much better clarity okay and dual slope is the best in accuracy it is very slow uh, but uh, it is best in accuracy uh, it takes time but accuracy wise it is good and it is used in digital voltmeters and all uh, uh, means you you mostly that you will be having in your labs so because of accuracy only okay but it is slow but it uh, is good with accuracy and uh, also uh, uh, what else i think uh, slowest but the most accurate and it is also uh, has uh, low cost because uh, uh, you don't need much uh, many things for to construct this so that's why you can accommodate in a digital voltmeter and uh, it gives good accuracy low cost slow but um, we uh, are more inclined towards more accuracy and low cost okay, that's why uh, we are able to uh, means mostly it is very given importance to and remember this is the total conversion time okay 0 to t2 okay this is the integration this is disintegration and total right and total is not fixed it is not fixed it is 2 to the power n clock plus something that you have to calculate through this okay depending upon the va and if you add them you will have total conversion time okay okay there is some more clarity i want to give here <coughs> so um, you can see we are comparing the two curves one is for input va1 and another is for input va2 here i am considering va2 is greater than va1 okay two inputs are there and we have two curves you can see what is the difference here see the the time integration time is fixed 2 to the power nt clock but you can see the slopes are different okay here the slope is minus va divided by rc slope is less because va1 is less here the slope is more because va2 is more the slope values are same uh, the values are minus va divided by rc minus va divided by rc but you can see the because of uh, different vas va1 and va2 you have different slope values okay so one is less one is more depending upon va uh, which one is more so if you have more uh, va uh, the value of va is more the more will be the slope okay and you can see at t1 time you are having the different values v minus va1 t1 divided by rc minus va2 t1 divided by rc okay this is about the integration time look at the d integration side the slope is same vr divided by rc vr divided by rc it is it is not dependent upon the input the slope is not dependent upon the input but the d integration time you can see are different t2 and t2 dash so if you have more more va it will take more time to deintegrate less va you have less it will take less time to deintegrate okay and how, how you will calculate this value and this value you can see here uh, t2 minus t1 will be equal to va1 divided by vr t1 and t2 dash minus t1 will be va2 divided by vr t1 right because of this guy va1 and va2 they have different uh, deintegration time right so hopefully this gives you a perspective the slope is same here the slope is different because slope depends upon the input but the the integration time does not depend upon the input it is fixed here the integration time depends upon the input but the slope is same you can see that they are look parallel right that's why so hopefully this also gives you a much more clarity um, in uh, in your uh, understanding of dual slope now uh, what else is remaining is uh, is is conversion time that i will tell you okay so i'll take the next uh, uh, 
part okay so one thing is remaining only <coughs> that is maximum conversion time what will be the maximum conversion time so see this this part is your integrating time right total conversion time is what for this input it will be from 0 to t2 and uh, from this input the va2 you have from 0 to t2 dash right that is the total conversion time uh, there is something called conversion time and there is maximum conversion time first i am telling you maximum conversion time okay so maximum this time time is fixed for both the inputs that is 2 to the power nt clock that is integration time and d integration time is different okay for this input it is this this is input is this but maximum this d uh, integration time could be what 2 to the power n minus 1 clock t clock cycle how did i figured it out because at max your counter can count to its maximum value right that is 2 to the power n minus 1 2 to the power n is when it will start again means next clock cycle it is representing for example if you have 0 0 0 0 it will go to 0 0 0 0 at t to the power in t clock but if you do this 0 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 1 it will be 2 to the power n minus 1 right 15 clock cycles this will take this will take 16 clock cycle so that is what i am saying at max in d integration your counter can go till till 2 to the power n minus 1 clock so maximum see maximum i am writing maximum conversion time will be 2 to the power this time plus this time 2 to the power n t clock plus 2 to the power n minus 1 t clock that will give you if you add both of them 2 to the power n plus 2 to the power n will be 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power n right that can be written as 2 to the power n plus 1 and minus 1 is added as it is so that is the maximum conversion time of dual slope integrating type adc that is 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 t clock what will be the conversion time conversion time depends upon the d integration time right how do you calculate so first make a note of this thing maximum conversion time is this thing right and if you have to calculate the conversion time so your integration time will be uh, same right and d integration time depends upon the va divided by vr integration time that is t1 or t2 minus t1 right this is the d integration time this is the integration time you add both of this you will be able to get the conversion time not maximum i am telling okay conversion time will be equal to 2 to the power n t clock plus va divided by vr t1 is same only this is t1 right integration time t1 you can write it as 2 to the power n t clock this will be the conversion time not maximum okay so you can take t uh, like this you can write 2 to the power n t clock you can take common 1 plus va divided by vr t clock Right. this will be your conversion time so there there are two times i told you conversion time that depends upon the d integration time although the integration time is fixed and another one is maximum conversion time maximum conversion time uh, it is fixed right uh, d integration can go maximum to 2 to the power n minus 1 so total comes out to be 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 okay so this plus one is in power this is in minus is in not in power so that's why it is the slowest because it is too much time right t clock so maximum uh, so out of all the adcs this guy is having uh, maximum conversion time and uh, hence it is the slowest one but more accurate so ho hopefully the discussion is clear to you and uh, uh, it is uh, uh, okay so uh, i'll take some questions on uh, dual type uh, and you will uh, i'll close this topic then okay